Thank you for joining me, the Blobber, here in our with a little help achievement run in EU4. Last episode we got a bit vengeful against Brabant, annulled a lot of his alliances, in fact all of them, he got one back after, because he's so desperate for friends. We humiliated him, and we asked for his ongoing money, and we finished eating Lower Italy. Now we just need to sit on our war exhaustion, let it come back down, and core all that. In the meantime we will pick the attacking infantry, and we also unlocked a new idea group, but we haven't, well, a new idea slot, but we have to work out what we want for the actual group. <sighs> decisions, decisions. We kind of would like quality, I guess. We're not going to be taking much more land. The other thing we might want is Diplo Reputation. Because it would help keep our vassals in, our vassal in line. Might be getting a bit rebellious once we feed him some more. Oh, well done, Bulgaria. Uh, yep. Hungary is still having more trouble. More and more problems. He's had them pop out. He's had lots of rebels continuously. He just... He, he should not have gone to that first war against... He shouldn't have declared that coalition against me. It, it ruined him. Um, so these guys are returning home by a means that means they should not de-black flag. And they should be ready to fight these rebels, which will happen almost immediately. Uh, what else can we do? Well, we can invite those little guys back to our trade league. Did he gain a province somewhere? He does, he owns these again. He can't join our trade league, but the Pope probably can. There's no point in improving with him if he can't join our trade league. Uh, have we grown above our rivals? No, we haven't, despite the fact that we've just humiliated him a lot. Spy back on Aragon. Ah, still... Ah, so what we'll do is we'll try and corrupt officials. How much of his income is trade? Not very much, so it's not worth slandering his merchants. I might try and steal some maps though. Persia? Egypt? Oh, I've got Egypt. What about... I don't have Horn of Africa. Hmm. What about Persia? Is there one that's called Persia? So I would need a unit here somehow. Ask for access in Shervan, who has... Oh my god! Shervan! You... you greedy little... Okay. Muscovy would take an alliance. They hate the Ottomans. Oh, yes. Okay, so Poland, as useful as you have been, your lack of hate for the Ottomans does you no service. And we'll look at... Yeah, we knew those rebels were coming. We'll look at whether swapping to... Yeah, they, they like the Ottomans too much, so bye-bye Poland. Empire, brilliant. What does that do for us? Plus one tolerance, that is very helpful. And we instead say, hey, you're our new friend. We love you. You hate the Ottomans, which is important. And I can feed Ottomans Muscovy. I can feed Muscovy the Ottomans. Instead of having to take the land myself in some form. Now we should be able to win against these rebels. Have a nice advantage to morale. 
We're sitting at full prestige, basically full power projection. Oh, we'll leave that around in case we lose a stability for whatever reason. Split. Alright. How are we doing? We're still over by one, so maybe the next idea group we should pick should be... Diplo. It'll give us an extra relationship slot, and it will give us an extra Diplo rep to keep our vassals in line, and it will mean we can take more in one war. So we're settled. Might change over to being Diplo focused, even. But we have got a lot of coring to do. Now, from this what will we do? Well, we can group all of these up, we can repair them, in fact, let's tell them to split and hunt pirates in, actually, probably do four of them. We can do one in Venice, one in Ragusa, one in Genoa, and one in Constantinople. Hunt pirates in Venice. Hunt pirates in Ragusa. Hunt pirates in Noah. Hunt pirates in Constantinople. There we go. Now we're leaving that. What else can we do? Espionage, but I think no. I don't really want any more of his land. I'm already too big. <laughs> already too big. I, I mean, this is delicious land, but no. What do we do with our extra diplomat? We. We improve with Muscovy? Yeah, we want to get him up to full so that he has no reason to not honour an alliance or something. Meanwhile, what can we do with the Ottomans? And Probably not worth it because they'll all be the right religion and right everything. Like, not going to actually have any unrest. What if we infiltrate their administrate? Got no unrest. A luck doesn't help hurt for that as well. I suppose they might have a little bit of unrest in... Yeah. How much would it cost to support? Well, I can't, because we spent it all infiltrating the administration. We could get a bit of time on this, which will help fight our corruption. Then after that, we don't buy it down again, we wait and we core. It's going to take a while for this, or everything here. Flanders grows ever smaller. I hate you, Poland, I just might have decided to want my vassal's land. No. Good. We caught Aragon, doing naughty things against us. improving with our vassal, I guess. Put our general on holiday. That is something that we can do.
Bottomman's caught us again. They're so lucky. It's getting annoying. Byzantium is doing a good job of fabricating on them, though. How long until our peace, wasn't it? Yeah, four more years. Which actually isn't enough to get rid of all of this. But our missions. I thought we did get them out of Italy. I did get them out of Italy. Oh, does that count? Okay, that counts. Well, oopsies. I will gain the mercantilism at the moment. In Capitania. Gain base tech. We want a Diplo guy. Young one, please. Yeah, we're gonna wait till we get to 100. Oh, we might rehire this guy like twice. If I give him a gift, it won't be enough to get him out of annoyed, I think. But it doesn't cost much, and what's money's for? Look, Pope, we love you. Ooh. In here. Oh, Luca. Foolish, foolish fool. Uh, what if I... No, I don't want you to grow either, though. I want neither for you to win nor to really lose. And the people state love me again, so I can probably invite them to my... Oh, but they're at war. Fair enough. Vince. Um... Improve with Austria and Savoy? Yeah. We converted that nasty province that had been converted by the Centre of Reformation. Lose some prestige. Keep this. why he wanted a friendship. Oh well. Third Holy Roman... Yeah, sure. I can pay you back for all the times you've helped me. Let's not pretend that you haven't. Oh. Oh. And we're all grouped up again. Now, new mission. Don't want to vassalize, don't want to do that. I could improve relations with these guys, though. Sure. Croatia. We're friendly. And finally, we have maxed out our relations with our minion. Now, these are worth becoming a territory.
can't do either of these because they're not cool. Is it worth territorizing that one? Naples, Naples, yes. Two more territories to do here. Now we're approaching our limit. We're allowed 21 and I've used 5. So we're, we're very safe. In fact, it might even be worth admitting that I should do this area at last. Even if I don't actually pay to core them. Oh, I inherit my vassal's full cores, of course. Hado. Okay, so I should have done that a lot sooner. Oh well. Still getting used to the new state and territory system. Learn from my mistakes. They come to a piece for nothing. I see who I can develop a spy network in. I don't like hungry. They have to pay for all the trouble they put me through. Ours is a vengeful player. We sit here and we siege him down. <coughs> We provide the stable core of sieging while Austria goes, maps up, mops up everyone else. And get a new advisor. And I think we are still, we are making so much money. I think I'll take prestige guys so that our prestige stays high. Now this is one of the times when because we want to re-elect, we choose to gain the Republican tradition. We re-elect twice, that's what, eight years? Eight years at plus two, or plus 1.5. Um, eight years at plus 1.5, eight times 12 times 1.5, 144 points, and it only cost us 40, so, I mean, it doesn't quite work out that way, but it, it would will more than, the two re-elections will more than pay for that. Muscovy love us as much as they can, we make sure to offer them access. Good. Now, yeah, who else are we at war with? No one. So they should surrender imminently. Everyone come home. And our next war is probably against the Ottomans, so you know what? We'll head down to that border. Whilst they are actually losing. Apparently I should have warned him as well. Something that we can actually work on. Point in doing him. favors, doesn't hurt. Who knows, maybe Tuscany will be reduced down to an OPM. I mean, if Rome retakes these... Our spies were detected in the Ottomans again. When aren't they detecting my spies? Seems to be the more appropriate question. What else can we do? Well, we still hate Aragon. Who else do we dislike? Or more accurately, who dislikes me and should be 
punished for such a silly decision. No one. Ah, good for them. Well, who dislikes our good ally? France does. So you know what? We will try and ruin France, maybe. Although they're also lucky, and we'll have <coughs> we'll have all sorts of problems because of that. Uh, we can afford to do this. What else can we do? Who hates Moscovy? We could try and help our friend here. Mm, we don't want to actually do nasty things to Poland, really. Hate Muscovy? Do you want Muscovy's lands? Yes. So we will help you, Muscovy, in this way. Gain the Papal Points, I think, even though it costs us prestige. Speaking of which, we can improve with the Pope. Next, with Croatia. What can we do? We can briefly proclaim a guarantee. We can improve with Provence, I'd be willing to bet. fabrication. Our peace comes in a year? A year. Who can we invite to the war? Would Muscovy even join? No, because they need money. Well. What? We're a generous friend. How's that help you? Not that we have any. Yeah, it has helped. Not like I would do much with the income. Anything that's in the Venice node is probably worth building just for the fact that it increases the trade value in the Venice node. Oh, and we're up to the stage where I could have built better forts, okay. I probably should have spent that there and instead of on Muscovy, but... Maybe he'll recover. Certainly looks like he's spending that income. Any money that we gave him. Getting the stability a bit higher. Now. What else? Well. Who will join me? Austria. No, but they will once the piece is up. I think me and Austria alone are probably enough. Well, and Byzantium, and they're not trivial anymore. They've got a, they've got a, a bit of a stack these days. But I want to wait for that to come, come good. So what do we do? We do the nasty little corrupt things in France and Sweden. Try and weaken them a bit so they don't attack people that I like. Oh, we have become no longer a valid rival for Aragon. Instead we are forced to hate... If I hate France it will keep, keep things with Austria good forever. And it will help me in my spying on them, even though they're a lucky nation, so they're 
got a very good chance of actually uh, discovering me one way or t'other. No longer infiltrating the Ottomans. Not allowed to do anything for a little bit. I will... Well, now we said we wanted to keep this guy. Well, we can check. We will de-embargo Aragon. We will keep this guy maybe twice. We got a whole lot of extra coast. Good. Why am I losing money? Army maintenance. Well, we're fixing that. I was going to say, we got a whole lot of extra coast, so we could consider building some more shipyards. Therefore, do do. Our label limit. Yep, we've got some more space to work within. So it might be an idea to start trying to push more riddlers in here. Seven, of which I get about a third. So it might be an idea to push more of the Ragusan, like start getting more trade ships. Also hungry. Hungry wields too much here. Why does hungry have so much? Inland caravans. Yeah, okay, so there's nothing I can do about that. Make life ongoingly painful for Brabant. So they're not my rival anymore, so maybe I should stop. Let's just be a little bit more annoying. What else? Once we get to 60, we can do one more, so we'll just do that one more and then then let let them off. I'll take the Diplo power. We will sabotage their reputation. And then we're happy to leave them alone. Now I think that should have been enough for Provence. It was. What we do? We can get... Convert Salerno to Catholic. When does the modifier on Salerno end? Oh? Not Salerno, not Salento. Well, I'm not seeing it, so let's use Saler... Okay, there we go. When does the modifier end? Not for a while. I don't think it's worth taking that mission. We could do manpower, although that's almost never going to happen. Conquer Elvisar. Door. That one is actually a mission that we might get done. Now, re improve with our allies. I've almost got the points to buy stability. We've saved up a bit here. Is there anything we can do that's worth doing? No. No. Sure, we'll grant you access. We're not a cruel, cruel friend. This was... Oh, how are we keeping so far ahead of time on military is a bit beyond me. I suppose we might want to consider... Let's look for... Well, what we're going to do next time is we're going to look to spend down some of this uh, by developing provinces that are near the cap to get the next building. But that can wait till next time. 
This has been The Blobber with our With a Little Help Achievement Run in EU4. Thank you for joining me, I hope you've enjoyed watching, and will join us again soon. Bye bye